Today I'm on my way over to engineering to see John Burnham, who's been working on a demo of our Reliance Nitro file system, which is new, on Windows CE, using the new Beagle boards. And incidentally, if you haven't heard of the Beagle board, it's an inexpensive development board that uses an OMAP 3530 processor and 256 megabytes of NAND flash. Here we are in John's office. Hi, John. Hey, Rob. How's it going? Good. So uh, why don't you show us what you've been working on with the BeagleBoard demo. Looks like you've got the two BeagleBoards set up right here. Uh, the mm -hmm. box on the left is running the data light on top of Windows CE, and the box on the left is running the Microsoft FM FMD with uh, TFAT. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the demo is to show that through power cycling uh, of a device that the data light solution will continue to operate as normal, whereas on the TFAT uh, FMD solution, the data file that we are writing will become corrupt. Mm -hmm. So we've got our uh, Seattle video playing. Got, Let me this is a, this is a we're we're looping a video, uh, and as the video is looping, er, periodically the position of the video is written to a data file. Mm -hmm. This is to show that when reset or power is lost on the device and brought back up, the video will resume right where it left off. Uh, worst case with Reliance is you will back up to the previous position that right. you recorded. Uh, worst case with the TFAT solution is you corrupted your file system. Uh, the normal case is the data file is actually corrupted. It's, it, it's not completely written. A demonstration of that is I will press reset on both boards at the same time. Okay. And so they're coming back up online? They're coming back up right now. They're loading the VOS image from the flash. And as okay. you can see, the data light solution came right up and began replaying the video. The TFAT solution, the data file was corrupt. So what does it say? The data file is corrupt or incomplete? Complete. The application must now delete the file and construct a new one. Oh, okay. If the MS Flash solution is writing uh, when the power is interrupted, your file is going to be corrupted. Correct, because the file will be incomplete. Every time we restart and have to recreate the data file, this number resets. You'll notice that the count will restart from one. Yeah. This data light demo has been running uh, for about six days straight. Mm -hmm. and it's been reset any number of times. We're at 353,000 there. Mm -hmm. So the, the significance of the file number being uh, 353,000 on Datalite and 29 yeah. or 37 on CE? The significance it, is that this shows that the data file needed to be reset on the, on the, TFAT, so on the TFAT solution. Oh, okay. On the FMD solution. On the uh, data light solution, it's yet to be reset. Sort of like the number of accident free days in a factory, a uh, good analogy to use might be that we have 353,000 accident free. The MS Flash version only has 29. It's just This is an example of the, the value that data light can bring to exactly. the CE platform. Exactly. We, we, we add a level of reliability to not only the metadata of the file system, but actually to the user data of the file system. Mm -hmm. 